hello guys welcome to this video today i'm gonna show you crossfire setups and bait setups for each other on the ct side nuke it's gonna be a lot easier for you to play as a team but also in pucks and there's a lot of details which you need to understand in order to be very good on nuke if the outside player is for example rotated to ramp and one guy is down secret and uh, the guy at all is decides to hold around heaven from main then it's super op that the hot player just goes and hold here this way you are basically baiting for the main guy so if they are going out door he will maybe kill one and die or kill two and die and the main player will have a really really good situation other than that then it's also very op to have one guy top hot who is holding a door and one guy which i call epics wall here because this guy can hold hot from here he can see any flashes coming and as soon as the top hot guy have any contact then he can strafe and kill and this is again a really good bait and in general it's ba basically just a hot player who need to go around depending on where his teammate is another setup you can do is the uh, side guy which is the hot guy is holding door jiggling and if they can come main he can stand like this and go back and forth while the door player is just hiding ct vent holding hot sometimes even hiding if he's afraid of someone peeking out hot this guy can even sometimes check hot check main check door and go back and forth and just bait for the guy so all these small things is a lot about baiting for each other and not another crossfire bait setup is one guy here and one side and this guy can basically just hold hot jiggling or jiggling for door baiting for this guy and then this guy is just hiding and getting ready to shoot them when they go out and you can decide for yourselves who is baiting for who but again you are setting each other up for success so even if one guy die the other guy have a potential of a lot of kills another bait setup is a guy inside hot here who is just holding like this and the guy side taking first duel then he can take first duel go back hold himself hold door and this way you are baiting for the hot guy if they are coming many hot this guy should have a lot of kills and you can just kill them together if they are going a lot door one guy hot then it's still very good if they kill the hot player because then this guy can just hold this angle and they can kill the guys coming out here together so this is basically a lot of setups where you are baiting for each other and setting each other up for success and it's pretty easy to do but you have to communicate together and take the right decisions out from wherever you are holding it's not often that you are two guys ramp but in some situations maybe one of your players have read the situation your rotation player have decided to come ramp with m4 in general obviously if the if it's the orb he will most likely be here sometimes you can also make a setup with the orb where he's holding here and one guy close or you can take the orb here and one guy close and then you can begin and take it aggressive on timing uh, other than that obviously the orb can just hold deep but in general the orb player is playing around here and then he's just coming to back up ramp but if you have a m4 player who came then it's pretty easy to bait either just boost him up or let him stay here while the other guy can either play headshot angle just go up every five seconds and check if someone is there this angle is super op a lot of pros are using it right now or he can just jiggle for info with a nade nade and go here and at the moment the m4 have contact from either boost or left side there he can peek at the same time on timing and this is very very efficient it's nearly gonna be impossible for any T's to have a good situation and you will most likely just kill them completely so it's pretty easy there's a lot of possibilities here in secret to make setups uh, out from different situations obviously it's not always you will be two guys down secret but let's say that the ram player already went into double here he have all the information and uh, the vent guy decide the door player decides to go down vent because they feel like they are coming secret and this will happen sometimes and it can be pretty easy to read sometimes as well 
There's a few good setups here. One could be that a uh, single guy is just holding angle, taking first contact. Guy double is just ready to peek when single guy gets contact. And that way he's just doing an easy bait for you. Another thing can be that uh, you can just do the same just with him close here in an off angle in one of these positions. Pretty easy bait as well. Another thing that is very likely to happen is that you just have a guy down secret holding and in general it's nice to stand and jump like this if you are choosing to play passive. One thing you can do which is very very nice is that uh, you are just opening door this way and jumping and then once they are going secret you can bounce a nade here then you can just go up you can call the ramp player down B then the ramp player now, if you open the door this way, he, he can just hold here and have a very good fight from any of these angles when they are coming out double. And the problem for the T's here is that to open, to close this door, you basically have to go very close to the door. And this way the ramp player can already hold you now and kill you. So the ramp player will get a very good situation, some very nice fights here. And th the guy, which is you, maybe if you're not the ramp player can just go on top of side and hold single door so now you have a very good setup if he gets fight double you can turn around when they're going out else you will just get free kill single when they're running out to kill this guy so this is a very easy bait setup for each other and it's basically only one guy secret from start and you just say to a ramp player come and hold double if they come some nice aggressive outside setups you can do is one of them is that you can just have one guy you just smoke this usual smoke that a lot of teams are throwing you can do the smoke then you just get the avp behind red he holds an off angle if they are rushing and then this orb can peak on timing depending on what he feels like in general i will recommend to just stay and hold for a while so they are not holding you and then at the moment you feel like they are not holding you anymore you peak then you just have the m4 in the smoke here holding silo and it's quite easy kills if anyone peeks from silo, silo you have super advantage and at some point you can even walk down go close under silo and then the orb can peek deep or he can just rotate and now you have all outside the only thing you have to be aware of in this setup is that one guy can go close in the smoke but if you're not seeing anything silo yet you can hold the smoke and begin and walk down Another setup you can do is just as M4 player outside, smoke here, go into this corner, pretty usual uh, corner, then have your AVP player just hold t -Rat. Once anything is happening, if they do any smokes, like let's say they do these Astralis smokes that I showed in this video that you will see up here, uh, if they do these smokes, then you can either just hide, wait, and then on timing just get a flash from your teammate and kill them when they are going close. Another thing if they do the normal smokes then you can go inside the smokes because you are already close here. And you can just listen. You can either go into secret and have a nice angle here when they are coming or you can call from flash on timing. And the same kind of goes if they do the Navi smokes which I will also link up here important to know all your smokes guys it will be so much easier for you to win so all these reactions are very good and very easy when you are here and the good part about being here as well is that you have so much information on sound if any T's are doing anything you will hear it and you can call around your teammates and say what they need to do a, a little bit spicy setup is that you can uh, smoke smoke this smoke and then you can have your AVP player go up here and just hold silo from here while you have your M4 guy close to the smoke listening and he can go close on timing. And the cool part about this is that it's a very unusual angle this one and this guy can also help kill them T-Red if M4 hears anything and he can also see over the smoke here and once the smoke is fading, he can help even more.